from Easy Company Collector Polls. Today we're going to do Buyer Pass on ComicConcepts.com. Link is down below. Click on that, and you can get to their website. Uh, as you can see, we have it pushing thousand on other websites, but here at Comic Concepts, nine 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 nine. So that's a cool deal, yo. So the mark for pseudo gantry, yeah, it's very big. Um, this. Why Hot Toys are you not giving us other stuff? Let me start off with my rant. And for you guys who can't handle that stuff and think it's too much negativity, I don't care. If there is an input like that on a company, then who will say it? Simple as that. But as simple as that, if there isn't an input like that, wh where would our demands be? Up in the sky? Really? Like, you guys would take anything? And probably the people talking about that stuff isn't even buying the figures. Anyway... Mark IV, I think they could have made um, what we've been waiting for a long time. Stuff like one-fourth uh, Stormtroopers. I really need to see one-fourth Stormtroopers. Um, DC Line does need some appreciative attention. Uh, and it would be cool to see more quarter-scale figures. Like, we've gotten Darth Vader. What if we got an Obi-Wan? That, I think, would take a stepping stone for the core scale line as far as Hot Toys go. But they're not doing it as much for us, so... Um, uh... I... I don't know where to go with this guy. Because although it is something new, at the same time, it's something old. Like, we're used to seeing these type of big iron, big red Iron Mans and stuff like that. The suit-up gantry is pretty cool. That's a cool little thingamajig. You can buy on its own, and you can buy the uh, actual figure separately. And those prices, you can go check them out somehow here. There. 564 for just Iron Man himself, which isn't too bad. Um, it is not die-cast. So, for you guys, I think, I'm pretty sure this is not die-cast. There's no symbol symbolic niche of it being die cast but let's go over the whole gantry suit up thing because that's the main pull the main draw here and as you can see this is i mean when you go into quarter scale line uh, the details get stupid i mean it gets stupid horrendously good i really love the attention to detail and this is iron man what i feel is the most iconic suit um it's Hey, Josh. It's the most iconic suit for Iron Man um, in the entire line of Iron Man. This is one suit I, I kind of regret selling uh, for my 1 6 scale line. So for it to come to 1 4 scale with the entirety of a suit-up gantry, that's pretty cool. That's really, really cool looking. I really like the idea of how they gave you a real diorama to go with this guy. Now, it is stupid exp It is stupid expensive. It is, I'll give it that much. It's it's pretty expensive. It's, it's it's high. I mean, it's really high for it being not even die cast. Um, I'm sure it will look die cast, although it's not. It will look die cast. I mean, the paint applications that Hot Toys does for these Iron Man with the Hot Rod Red and Golds are simply amazing. And we do have what we expect is the light up functions. Light up functions like here in the gantry should be. And as expected on the um, arc reactor, arc the palms, um, the head, the eyes, and whatnot. So all that stuff going in, if you put in some fusion reactors lights, because these batteries will not work. I wonder if it's USB powered, LED light up function, gold armor shine through real specially designed stand, LEDs located in final articulations. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't see where it's LED blue battery operated, battery operated. They should have went um, USB powered for this. At this price line, I think they should have USB powered this whole entire thing. Somehow, I don't know, probably stick with batteries for Iron Man, but USB powered lights for the gantry, at least. That would have been perfect for this price point. I think it should have been. Now, this is going to be huge. A um, thousand bucks for a core scale Iron Man. We, yeah, we, we hear the people saying it could have been something else. Could have been core scale Obi-Wan, core scale uh, Stormtroopers. But um, I, I think 
I think it's understand, understandable as much as I want to go against a suit like this. I want to go against a price point like this, but I, I really do think it's something of worth. I really think that people will love this as the iconic Iron Man to be in quarter scale. And they picked one to do it all, and that's the Mark IV, which I believe is the, the I think it's the top of the line Iron Man. When you think Iron Man, red and gold, um, really robotic looking. I think this, not even Mark 85. I think this, the Mark IV or Mark VI. I love the Mark VI arc reactors, little triangular design. The, um, but this, this suit right here, I think yes. I think yes. I think if you're really an Iron Man junkie, literally an Iron Man junkie, I, I, I go for this one. Um, a thousand dollars is a high price point, but for this alone, I, I feel it's I feel it's worthy. I, I think it's gonna have some magnetic options throughout here just to have this plate and stuff being taken off. But um it's Robert Downey Jr.'s head sculpt. I mean, look look at that gantry. That's that's a lot of engineering art right there. That's a lot to go through. So for a thousand bucks and the sheer size of this thing, you gotta think we got the Mark 85 battle damage for 500. That guy came in almost at $500. And for 500 more dollars, you can have this entire setup and like literally double the size. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would say yes. I would say yes. That's, that, this is definitely a cool, uh, option to go with. Um, if you can't get the whole thing, I mean, Hey, they have this guy. If you can't get this guy, they have this, so, plenty of option. You get your donuts still, fresh donuts. But very cool figure, I have to say. Um, I'm sure it's going to deliver completely. As you can see, all that he comes with is, I mean, all, everything. Everything you can possibly get. This is the, the epitome of Iron Man right here for Hot Toys. This is it. I think this is going to be the one to get. If you're looking towards getting something premium, something really premium, it's going to be this for Hot Toys. It's going to be this. Complete your collection, Iron Man collectors, and get this one. Um, this one, is once it sells out, this is probably going to double in price. So, if you like what you saw here, you click, subscribe, like, share. Sharing is caring. It's a must-buy for you guys. I'm not going to get it personally because I'm not too big of a Marvel Iron Man fan, but... I am tented. It's so good looking. Bye, guys.